Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're out here at our Build Show Build Boston site. Now, today I thought we'd talk a little bit about fresh air we breathe. So, standing in front of the Zender. Now, I know a lot of you watching this video, you're probably going to stay something like, well, houses need to breathe and all of that good stuff. I've, I mean, I've been on videos, probably 20 or 30 of them at this point, saying, Yes, houses need to breathe, but I want to control how that breathing is, right? And every time I talk about this, I always talk about the analogy to our bodies, right? Think about how air comes into our bodies, nose, mouth, right? Comes in dedicated supply ports. They go to a filtration system, our lungs, right? And the exhaust is through dedicated ports, right? It's the reverse, comes back out our mouth and nose, right? It's called breathing, yes. Well... In a house, we want to do the same thing. We want to have that controlled breathing. Um, I've never said a house doesn't need fresh air. It just doesn't need to breathe through a series of nooks and crannies and holes in the wall and holes up under the baseboard and all of those areas. I like to do it controlled. So from my perspective, I'd like to build the house as tight as I possibly can and then put in controlled ventilation. Now, the code requires controlled ventilation, so all of you out there that are saying, oh, well, you don't want it, the house needs to breathe, and you're wasting money. No, uh, houses need controlled ventilation. It's part of the code now, um, especially as our houses get more energy efficient. So here we have the Zender Comfo Air Cube. Uh, this is their mid-size one. I forget if it's the 450 or what the number is on it. Um, let's say it. Uh, it doesn't say it on there. Um, but uh, it's not the largest one because in this house, we actually divided the house. Um, if you look at it in floor plan, the house is about 170 feet long and it's probably about 80 or 90 feet in this direction, shaped like an L. And so if we put one system in, we would have pipes that would be running well over 150 feet to get across the other house, side of the house. Or we would have had to put this in somewhat of a centroidal location so that we can minimize that. So rather than do that, we downsize both systems and then we put one in the dirty basement number two and one over here in dirty basement number three. Um, so... For those of you not familiar, Zender's a Swiss company. They devote all of their work towards ventilation systems. This is an ERV, Energy Recovery Ventilation System. And what that means is that we have four pipes on this um, system. You can see there's two black pipes here, and then we have two metal pipes there. The difference is these are actually hard insulation. They're called Comfo pipes. They're supplied as part of the Zender package. And you notice this one goes right out, this one goes up, goes across the basement and goes out over there. What these are, one of these is the supply, one of these is the exhaust. So we're bringing air from the outside in. It goes into the system, it gets filtered. We'll pull out one of the filters and I'll show you that in a second. And as that airstream comes in, it gets exchanged with the airstream coming out. So the two pipes here that are not insulated are pipes that are either delivering or returning from the house. Um, so basically a four pipe system, right? So that air comes in, goes into the system here. As that air comes in from the outside, the exhausting air gets stripped of its heat energy and moisture and it's put on that interior or incoming loaded air that's coming in through the supply. So that's where the energy recovery is happening. And I'm sure there's a whole big science to <clears throat> the films and such that they use to get that um, uh, trade-off of the energy and moisture from the outgoing exhausting air to the incoming supply air. So that incoming supply air goes into the system <coughs> Excuse me. and it strips the energy off the exhausting air system 
and then it gets delivered. So if we look at these two pipes, these two are the delivery systems or return. <coughs> this one is the supply and this one is the return. Now you can see the supply comes up. There's actually a box up above here. We call these D boxes or distribution boxes. That goes from one eight inch pipe down to a six inch reducer, but then it comes out as eight little comfo tubes, which is basically what we're seeing here. And that's a proprietary duct by Zender also. And those snake around the house, they're three inches in diameter, so we can pump them up through a two by four wall if we have to. They're not really carrying a whole lot of air. I mean, most of the registers here are probably, you know, in a 20 CFM or less range, um, somewhere 12 to 20 CFM, I believe. And so that supply here, you can see, comes out of the unit, goes into the D box, but splits, goes here. This pipe runs down and it hits another D box there. So basically that one supply pipe is supplying 16 of the three inch pipes. Likewise, on the other side, this is the return pipe coming back from spaces in the house. And we also have a return D box up there, which is exactly the reverse of what's happening on the supply side. We have eight little pipes that come in and then it goes into the eight inch pipe that connects with this pipe and goes back to the unit. So that fresh air or outside air gets supplied to the house. The return air comes in here. As that return air comes in, it gets the energy stripped off of it in the moisture. It's put on the supply air coming in and then that stripped exhaust air then goes out one of the comfo pipes. And the reason for the displacement here is we want to avoid re-entrainment. So Zender recommends that we have about a 10 foot displacement between where we um, supply air and where we exhaust air from the outside. And you can see here we're at about 22 feet, but more importantly, we're on opposite sides of the house. So it's really not going to affect it much. Um, you can see here all of these systems, you know, part of what I like is that they all have, you know, their filtration system. And these are all Sender proprietary um, filtration systems. <clears throat> there. And they're supplying fresh air. You know, some feedback about these systems. I have a number of clients. Um, I have literally dozens of these systems installed. I have clients, you know, stories are that my house is the best environment I know. I hate to leave it. I sleep the best in my house. I dream better in my house. I don't think there's one client that we've put one of these in that not only hasn't had a derogatory statement, but has nothing but a positive statement for it, right? So. Those of you in the camp that, oh, houses need to breathe in this, I agree. But I want to control how they breathe. I want to be able to filter that air how they breathe. I want to recover the energy from that air that I'm taking out rather than just having, you know, 30 degree air in the wintertime come through cracks in my wall and get filtered through the edge of the carpet that I'm never able to vacuum, right? Probably not the air you want to be breathing. And worse yet, probably not the air you want your child to be breathing if he or she is laying in the crib in the corner of the room, right? So we want to make sure that we're getting them that clean air. So anyways, um, the system has been commissioned um, already. Zender comes out and, you know, they, they give us a full set of plans with the layout. We check the layout. Um, we get it all installed. Our mechanical guy, Chris Johnson, did a beautiful job installing this. Zender guys came out, they checked the installation, gave that two thumbs up, and then they commissioned the system. Now, I believe they were shooting for something like un, within 15% of the design flows um, that we have um, the system designed for. And if it was a passive house, those numbers have to be, I believe, within 10% of the design intent. And uh, we were well within the 
of the uh, design intent on here. So not only did we get commissioned, but we have it commissioned to a passive house standard. So um, it's exceptional quality. Kudos to, you know, the trades that we work with out here. They did a hell of a job. But uh, if you're looking for a ventilation system, yes, it. I would say it's probably the best one on the market at the moment. Um, and it isn't the cheapest, but it's your health. So at what cost do you put it at, right? So anyways, I'm out here at the Build Show Build Boston site. I'm Steve Basic Architect. Until next time, long live our buildings.